figure review welcome back to another episode of figure review and today we have another special guest another favorite great girl as you all probably know any of you otakus out there miku hatsune um just though this figure is not actually mine it's kiki's figure i really regret not pre-ordering this figure though I missed out on it and I didn't know about it till last minute. So, sadly, it's not really going on my shelf. My huge, huge collection. But whatever, it's cool. Maybe if I can find her aftermarket, because currently she's sold out everywhere, I can purchase her. But as you guys, if you people who don't know, this character right here, Hatsune Miss Mi Oh my god, Miku Hatsune. <laughs> Forgive me, I just said it. Um, this figure is actually made by uh, Taito. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I personally never bought anything from there, so I'm not too sure on what kind of figures they make. Um, if, if anything, they they remind me of the quality, at least, from the size of the box and what kind of figure this is. This is a prize figure. Prize figure, normally lower quality. Uh, like, for the figure I showed from the last episode, which was the Helsing figure by Kodobuki, that was an official scale. Scales are normally way more detailed, higher quality, higher price. So this is kind of like a uh, price figure, like I said. It's cheaper, this was only 30 bucks total, and the size is a lot smaller, even though she is technically a 1 8th. Um, in millimeters, it's 180, and in inches, it's, she's 7.2. Um, her release date was um, March 28th of this year. And the store my girlfriend I purchased her from was big in Japan. If you're not familiar with them, they kind of do a lot of exclusive figures. Um, I personally haven't bought anything from them. I normally go stick with uh, Hobby Search, Ami Ami. Um, sometimes if I'm really in desperate, I'll have to do Nippon Yasun. And then when I get like the erotic adult good, good stuff, <laughs> that's on Native. So this shop big in japan i'm not too familiar with but i know a lot of people like about like them they're really good their customer service is great shipping speed is good communication everything is real good with them and then i just wanted to go over um uh, another review so let's take her out of the box oh jeez. So we have her base, her base here, one of her pigtails, her other pigtail here, oops I dropped something, I'll get that in just a sec, and the beautiful Minku herself, she's so cute, oh my god I wish I ordered her, she's so cute. Sorry about the glare. This is a different setup. Like I said in the other video, I was trying my best to really get a better setup for you guys. So we're going to try this setup. But look at her. Let me get a close-up on that cute face. Uh, that. There you go. You see that? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love Miku. As you can, oh. As you can tell from these other figures here, these are actually all mine. That's her racing 2018, 2018 or 2017 racing Miku. And then I have her Chinese uh, version. This is a really old one. This is like her original outfits, I believe. I can't remember. I got this one at a convention. But yeah. Oh my god. She's so cute. Look at that. I'll get, I'll, of course, I'll show you guys a, a close-up of everything when she's put it together. And I'll, I'll, I love Miku with short hair. She's really cute. I mean, she's always having her huge, long pigtails. Oh my god, she's so cute. Okay. Enough going over her. We're going to put her together. Let me, sorry. There you go. Okay. I'll probably put her down. There's her base here. Transparent clear base with a few Easter prints, flowers, Easter eggs, things like that. 
that's really really cute so you see like the egg print here let me see if you guys can see that a little better there you go that's perfect you see like translucent all these pretty flower easter set if i didn't say earlier this is her spring um version two there's actually two different variants of this uh figure and i'll post some pictures up of that in a bit so then here she is simple peg hole you stick it in the hole that's what she's doing. next oh no other me then we're gonna get her beautiful beautiful hair so flowy flowy that's not really a word but i love the sculpt of her hair the flu the how can i say this without it all makes sense how they sculpt it has a nice flow to it so it feels like it has a good movement if that makes any sense it's not like just straight and it's there it actually looks like movement if that makes any sense to you guys i really like it and if you could tell at the end it's transparent so you see it's like a solid color there and it kind of fades to a little translucent color really pretty so we're gonna try putting this in there you go and this is miku with one big pigtail that's cute <laughs> she should do other styles like that she's her hair her signature style just always and just her two pigtails then again here's another flowy i like that word flowy little pigtail that we're gonna put on her right side okay oh okay there's actually a weird issue with this um it's a i think it's a defect on the company's part if i can show you you guys see that so the two pig this pigtail is really easy to put in but her right side you can't really tell from the front too much unless you turn to the side the back side is not in going in all the way it has that you see that little gap i'm sorry my fingers kind of covering it but right here the peg is showing a bit it's not really going in all the way let me see if i can get that so you guys could see it but i think you guys could see i can see from here i hope the camera can just pick it up though but right here you see like there's a little gap so that's that's a bummer um that's a defect for some companies some figures um sadly that happens hopefully anyone else who purchases this figure that's not a problem with that they don't have that same problem as i'm having with this but that sucks i mean you can't really tell to be honest from far away you can't see and it's not a crazy crazy sorry a crazy crazy thing now if the whole peg won't even fit then that's more of an issue so i'm so happy with it still an a plus for me so far and then we have her easter basket her egg basket so let's see you see that it has it's for a price company this is really nice again none of my figures are from this company tato tato i think that's how you pronounce it and you see, like, they really did a good job detailing the basket. Again, the camera, trying to pick it up. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it looks like a real basket. Like, it's been weaved in. And this is how you say it. And then the sculpting on the eggs. It has a nice shine to it. Different colors, real pretty. And all you do for this is just hook it onto her hand. Pretty easy. Uh see hang on. I'm gonna pick her up you just put it in her palm Miku oh, I don't want to break the handle oh there you go that shouldn't have taken a long I know I was putting it on the wrong way but you see you just put it through her hand right there and yeah she's basically all set really price figures are really easy set up put in the put her on the base if they even have an extra accessory and that's practically it alrighty 
So overall, you could tell by her size. So these are Nendroids. Nendroid size, pretty small, nothing crazy big. Then this is this scale, which is a 7 inch. And then this one, her race Miku, is a lot smaller. I'm sure you guys can easily tell, but she's way smaller. At least to me, she is. Her, well, technically, if you don't want to count her ears, she's a lot smaller. And the base is way more nicer. My, this is this one is from Brian Pesto. If people uh, don't know about that company. Again, they really focus on price figures, really cheap figures. The quality, again, are not top rated like Kotobuki, Alter, um, Alpha Max. You know, all these huge, huge companies. These companies focus on cheaper but still decent quality figures. And again, I really wish I ordered this. I missed out. I regret it so badly, but hopefully I can find her. My girlfriend said she sold out everywhere, so I'll just have to keep checking every once in a while. So overall, great. Let's go take a better look at everything, top to bottom. So, again, like I said before, she's 7 inches. This is a price for your company. The paint on this, sadly, is, if my camera could pick it up, it's not the best. So you see, you can see a few seam lines right here. Let me see if you get the skirt. The paint is not the best. You pay your your so for like I said for that Kotobukiya Helsing girl that figure was a hundred, hundred twenty, hundred thirty around there, right? That paint job is gonna be very good. Now some companies like Plum, or Polcha, if you guys don't you know figure collect these are smaller companies. But they still do qual, you know, not quality. To me, it's not quality. But they do, um, how'd you say? They do scales, not just price figures. And these companies charge a lot of money, but their paint is just like crap. Basically, you're paying 120 bucks for this kind of quality. I'm not gonna pay 120 bucks for this kind of quality. Even though Miku is a, the sculpt is adorable. The everything is aesthetically pleasing to me. I'm just, I wouldn't pay 120 for this, if you kind of get what I'm trying to say. So, there's some companies that charge a lot for bad paint. This is 30 bucks, and the paint's not terrible, but, you know, compared to the scale I showed in my previous video, it could be better. But you get what you pay for. So, 30 bucks for this kind of figure, it's not too bad. To me, the paint is not terrible, not as bad as other people, or other people, other companies. So... It's, it's kind of, to me, it's worth it. I mean, if you're someone who doesn't care for, you know, pristine, uh, top-tier paint jobs, then you may, you may consider getting this. But you see, like, here, the camera can kind of barely see it. There's, like, a line straight down here. That's the one of the things I'm talking about. It's a price for your company. They don't put a whole bunch of attention to every single detail. Her shoes are so cute, though. But anyway, I'm getting distracted by her cute outfit. But as you can tell, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's get to her ears. Paint job on her ears isn't too bad. Again, the hair sculpt is so cute. I really, really love her sculpt of her hair. Her outfit's adorable. The base is adorable. I want this figure so bad. I really want it, but it's not mine. I'll have to persuade Kiki to give it to me or something. I got my ways, Miku, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually, it's not mine, so I can't say I'm happy to have it, because it's not. But I'm happy Kiana got it, and I'm happy at least I can wake up in the morning and see her on her shelf every day. And it was worth it. I'm going to post some pictures of the other variants of it, because there's two different versions and one version being um, her eye. Her, it's her face, different face expression. And then the skirt and the bow on her chest and hair, different colors. Uh, one where her whole face, her eyes are closed for both. Her Both of her eyes are closed, I'm sorry. And she's winking in one. And then there's this variant. I personally think this one and then the uh, one with her winking face, that's way cuter. But I prefer the colors in this one a lot more. So, again, um, I would rate this figure 
a hmm so again I like I was saying I'm not really too I, I care in my figures I care about height I care about uh detail I care about I care about the face so the first thing I notice in a figure if I don't like their face I'm not gonna get it this face is sold it for me I, for whenever I like I said just said noticing a figure the first thing I look at is their face so if their face is a throw off for me or if it's a boring face I'm not gonna get it now this face is perfect I love her nice expression her big smile her blushing face her pretty eyes everything also, I like um, hair, hair sculpting, a nice movement, not boring, straight, anything. This is no, nowhere near that. So I'm so happy. Well, <laughs> I keep saying it's not mine, but I'm so happy to, to see this in a Miku figure. Um, so I'm getting off track. The price, great. Paint job, eh, iffy. It's not the best, but it's decent. You know, 30 bucks going to get me pretty good uh character love Hatsune Miku um I think I'll give this figure I'll give her a 9 out of 10 only reason a 9 out of 10 even because I was talking so highly of her is that peg in the, the hair that's gonna be a real, a real issue because I would hate for something if because if I pull it out if I try to push it in too far it could break and I don't want that to break because there's no way to fix that. So but maybe with glue, but I don't like putting any type of material like that on my figures because I could ch chip the paint. I could do a lot of damage to the figure. So besides that, she's at a 9 to 10. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tune in for our next video on figure review. Um, I'm so getting some more figures coming soon. It's going to be some amazing figures i can't wait all gonna be scales i think it's three that i'm waiting for so it's gonna be a little tiny haul and i'm gonna do that soon so yes thank you again so much for watching and tuning in for another episode i'll see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.